Okay, now I'm going to show you how to take a massage and facial guest into the spa and how to properly explain our forms to them. Um, you're going to have your forms set up on clipboards ahead of time before they even come in so you're all prepared. And actually we're going to have um, pens with those forms, so let me grab those. Can I borrow two pens from you? You're on camera. <laughs> all right. So when you greet a guest, um, you're going to welcome them obviously into serendipity. Um, we're going to show you that video later where you see how to um, greet a guest or you may have already viewed it. Um, when you're taking them in, it's going to look something like this. Um, we're going to make up, let's say, Sherry and Tanya. Um, all right, Sherry and Tanya, I'm going to take you into the spa now. Um, we're going to go right through this door. You want to make sure you open the door for them and lead them through. If you'd like to step through, you're going to go straight to that fireplace room right ahead. And make sure you close the door behind them. The reason why we close the door behind them is we want to make sure that um, we keep that noise level at a very minimum from the front desk. Um, there's a couple things. Number one, they're taking care of appointments. They got phones ringing. They got the door open. So um, it can get very loud on both sides. If we have a pedicure party in here and there's a lot of talking or laughter, um, it can interfere with the phone calls out there and vice versa. Let's say you have 10 guests out there trying to get a gift card at Christmas season and you've got a single woman sitting here trying to relax and get a pedicure. This just kind of cuts off um, the main entrance from the spa and it also gives the experience that you're walking into the spa versus just going around the corner. So you want to make sure you keep an eye on that door. You always open and close it as you come in and out. So moving on to the fireplace room, as you're showing a guest into here, actually I'm going to bring this up close for you. When you, um, when you set a guest into the fireplace room, what you're going to say is go ahead and have a seat where you're most comfortable. Here's our massage form. There is a front and back to it. The back is just a medical checklist if there's anything the guest or the technician needs to know about. Um, once, once you're finished with your form, go ahead and stay here and your massage therapist will greet you here. You are also welcome to sample the three oils that we have. We have aromatherapy oils for our massage. So feel free to go ahead and um, smell those and let your therapist know which one you'd like to have used on you today. That's what a massage um, guest would experience when they come in. You wanna make sure that you tell them there's a front and back. You wanna make sure that you tell them to hold on to their form. Otherwise the guest is gonna get up and run back to the front desk because they don't know what to do. So pretend that the guest has never been here before or has never been to a spa before. It's our job to educate them on what to do and you want to make them do as little as possible. It's their time to relax. It's their time to just get away from daily stress and not have to worry about doing anything. We should be catering to them at all times. Now with a facial guest, what you're going to be doing is you're going to show them, this is your facial card. There is the front basic information, but what I need you to do after you fill that out is to open it up and just fill out the checklist on the inside. This will help your esthetician um, determine what products are going to be used on your face today because they customize each and every facial. And then you let them fill that out. And once again, you tell them once this is filled out, go ahead and stay here and your esthetician will be with you um, and she'll take that form from you. Like I said, again, you want to let them know what to do with that form. You want to let them know why they're filling out the form and keep them as comfortable as possible. After you explain the forms to them and what to do with them, you can also offer them the beverage service. A lot of times they will not take it because if they're going into a quiet treatment and they're going to be laying down for an hour, they don't want to have a cup of tea or coffee beforehand. But you do actually ask them, would you like any beverage service before your spa treatment today? The last thing you want to make sure you tell them is your name and who you are. So for instance, by the way, during your time here, if there's anything that I can get for you, my name is Jessica and I'm one of your spa hosts. We also have Maya at the front desk and Shelby helping out today. Don't hesitate to ask either of us for any assistance. That is a welcoming greeting. That way they know that they're comfortable going to you. They know your name. They just feel like it's like this giant hug. It's not rushing them to a fireplace room, fill out your paperwork and rush back out to grab the phones. You want to embrace their experience here. Take that extra five seconds to introduce yourself. It will mean that much more.